Hello everyone, myself Shweta Shah. I am your instructor for the subject under organization and architecture. In this subject, we have started unit 5 that is central processing unit. In this unit, we are going to see today the topic that is on general resistor organization. So, let me start with this topic. Uh, in the programming example, we have seen that the memory locations are needed for storing the pointers, counters, return address, temporal results and partial products during the multiplication example. Okay. So, having referred to a memory location for such an application as a time consuming because memory access is the most time consuming operation and more efficient way to store this intermediate value is in a storing in a processor registers. Okay. When a large number of resistors are included in CPU, it is most efficient to connect them through a common bus system. So, if you have connected them using common bus system, so your operation will be faster. The resistor communicates with each other not only for a direct data transfer but also while performing various micro operations like addition, subtraction and so on. Okay. So, how we can organize this resistor okay let me see how we can do the, uh, here uh, we are going to see the example of seven resistor how we can uh, organize this seven resistor and the seven resistors are connected using mux the output of each resistor is connected to multiplex to two multiplexer we will abbreviate it as a mux and to form a two buses a and b here we have total 7 resistors, 2 MOX, MOX A and MOX B, resistor R1, R2, R3 up to R7 that is connected through this 3 to 8 decoder. This 3 to 8 decoder has a selection, 3 to 8 decoder that means it has a 3 selection. Okay, That is we are representing it as a select D, S, E, L, D. Uh, MOX A has a selection SELA and MOX B has a selection SELB. Output of each and every resistor is connected to this MOX and eighth output this MOX is from input device. Okay. Storing the result from this A loop, we are going to use this 3 to 8 decoder and according to this decoder, any one of the input of this resistor is going to be set selected and according to that input this content is going to be stored okay so let me see how we can do this operation here output as we discussed output of each resistor is connected to multiplexer to form two buses bus a and b the selection line in each multiplexer selects one resistor or input data for the particular bus and the operation selected in the alu determines the arithmetic or logical micro operation that to be performed. Here we have uh, this operation selection of 5 bit and this operation selection of 5 bit will determine the which operation you require to perform on the data that you have uh, collected from this resistors to mugs. So you can perform any operation that is given by this 5 bit operation code. So let me see how we can do this. This result of this operation is available uh, for the output data and also we, are, we can store it into the resistor. That selection of that resistor is, is done by this decoder, 3 to 8 decoder. So, the control unit that operates on CPU bus systems directs the information flow through the resistor in, in ALU by selecting the various components in the system. Okay, so your operation will determine the which contain or which part of the area you require to operate. Okay, for example, for the performance of the operation R1 given R2 plus R3. In this operation, we are going to see the addition operation of contained of resistor R2 and R3 and going to store this result into resistor R1. So, for this operation, uh, we, what we will require for MUX A we will have select A and for select A we have to select resistor R2 okay for select B we have to select resistor R3 so that uh, the content of this resistor R3 is placed into bus and 
after that bus you will get the content into mux b for av operation we have to provide this operation operation of addition that means we have to select the five bit pattern which we have designed or we have decided to use for addition operation okay and lastly we have to provide selection d for decoder to decide that the our result of alu is going to be stored into this register r1 okay so we require to select a and select b to decide the uh, content of mux a and b content of mux a will be r3 content of mux b will be r3 and then we required to select the operation that is addition operation and lastly we required to select the where you require to store your output that is register r1 so how we can uh, design this control for uh, this operation that we see here uh, this selection we can combine it in a one control register that is known as a control register and this control register is of total 5 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 bits okay 3 bit first 3 bit is for selection of a next 3 bit for selection of b next 3 bit for selection of d and next 5 bit for operation selection so for micro operation r1 given r2 plus r3 for r1 you have to for a uh, selection a that is your content of bus a should be of register r2 that means you have to put r2 over here for a uh, selection b you have register r3 for selection d your content is going to be stored at register r1 so your uh, selection should be for r1 and for operation you have to select operation a double b so your selection for this all of this r3 r2 r1 add operation we have already decided some bit pattern whenever your register is r1 you are going to use 0001 whenever your register is r2 you are going to use 00010 for r3 you are going to use 011 and so next we will see table for this operation so according to that table you have to put this three bit selection for each and every register that you have decided for select a select b select d and for your operation how it is uh, selected let me see so this is your uh, selection table for register and this is your selection table for your operation five bit operation for r1 for input you have 000 for r1 register 001 for r2 010 for r3 011 and so on up to 7 and for operations we have limited operations like transfer a increment a add a and b subtract a and b decrement a and or xor and so on. and for this all of this operation this operation code of 5 bit is decided for our addition operation this code is like 0 0 0 1 okay for register r1 we have code 0 0 1 for r2 0 1 0 for r3 0 1 1 and for operation of addition we have code 0 0 0 1 0 so according to this our control word will be 0 1 0 0 1 1 0 0 1 0 and 0 0 0 1 0 similarly for any of your operation you can design this control word that will control your input and output for that operation and how you which operation you are going to be perform so let me see another example we have uh, this 14 bit control word for let me see subtraction let me see another example that is containing some subtraction operation how we can uh, do this subtraction operation for example our operation is r1 given r2 minus r3 so your content of register r2 should be selected r3 should be selected and for output your register r1 should be connected or you can say selected 
for uh, select A, you have to select resistor R2. For select B, you have to select resistor R3. For select B, you have to select resistor R1. And for operation, you have to select subtraction operation. For subtraction operation, we have a code as a subtraction operation 00101. So let me see how we have the total code for this. For select A, we have R2, select B, we have R3, select D, we have R1 and for subtraction operation, we have 00101. So this 14 bit code will be for this operation of R1 given R2 minus R3. Similarly, you can do any of operation that we have listed in the last table. Okay, so this is our general resistor organization. So we are ending our today's session over here. If you have any query, then you can contact me 